So good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to welcome you all at the start of this summer term. And I really hope you all had a relaxing break and managed to enjoy some of the sunshine and a particularly warm welcome to our new pupils and to our overseas boarders who have managed to make it to Bournemouth, which is fantastic news. And uh, even though they're currently in the boarding block, some of them, there are pupils who've been uh, learning remotely for a whole term who are now in Bournemouth on site at the school. So can we give them a wave? Give them a wave and we can't wait to see you as real live human pupils coming into our classrooms. Now we have one new member of staff this term at senior school and that is Mr Clark and he has joined our finance team so you may see him around and about uh, and we hope he has a good term but we have also a very young new member of the Talbot Teeth community let's have a look here she is that is Poppy Ophelia and she was born last week a few days old and she is the daughter of Mrs. Matheson in junior school, one of our year one teachers. So congratulations to Mrs. Matheson and um, welcome to Poppy and um, delighted to have a new member of our school community there. So what delights do I have in store for you this morning? Well, Nina in lower five sent me footage from her maths lesson on the last day of spring term and her maths teacher did give her permission to film this. Let's have a look at what they could see. So great excitement in Mr. Thomas's lesson. Uh, baby deer walking past the balcony and they're all having a look, watching it out the window. So uh, thank you, Nina, for sending that in. And I was also sent this photo. Let's have a look. Who is this? Now, this is Wally the Walrus. He's been named Wally. And he has been seen in Wales, in Pembrokeshire. And uh, walruses don't usually uh, come down this far. And somehow Wally's found his way to Wales. Um, so thank you for sending that photo in. And I was also sent this clip of a volcano erupting in Iceland. Let's have a look at this. So one for our keen geographers there and our geography department has taken trips to Iceland in the past, may well take some in the future again, but that happened, that uh, eruption happened in the last few days um, and that footage there, fantastic. So please keep sending in your photos and your video clips. We always need them for assemblies. Um, and this morning I wanted to show you a video clip that was sent to me by Godfrey. Um, it links to the work that he's doing with his cooperative and it really resonated with me and reminded me of the message that I'd um, spoken about on International Women's Day um, and how important equality is. Let's have a watch at the video that his cooperative has made. Yes. Sabana, 
ibyo dufatanye yera dufashije cyane kuko tutari twa twahura nayo aha hose hari ubutayo nta kintu cyari kihari eh ariko aho bamariye ku dutera zo ndetse nabo zitira bintu musaruro ubu nta kibazo fite badu kana we muri maga ugikoni nta kwase bwa Yavakuzibu. <laughs> Kujenzi wanye nao kwa shishikariza Kujitaka nao kujia za msaruro Njaja zono kwa hani kumbire Nao kujia wanye nao kwa kumbire Kujia wanye nao So tremendous evidence there of the importance of the empowerment of all within communities and the transformative power of education and skills. So the cooperative members now have the knowledge and they have the resources to nourish themselves and to sustain themselves. Um, and in addition, they're able to sell some of their produce and reinvest that income back into the community. So incredibly important work there, and we will be continuing to support Godfrey and the Cooperative and our six form Rwanda committee. I know they've got lots of fundraising ideas that they'd like to um, instigate this term, and uh, they've got some new initiatives, and we look forward to hearing about those later on. So we start a new term on our beautiful campus with the flowers and trees in bloom. I hope you've noticed the primroses and the bluebells as you come in through the main entrance. And for some, this term will involve assessments. I know upper five and upper six, I was just seeing some of them coming in. Um, they've got their heads down and they're really focused. Um, but I just wanted to say to you, if you are in those year groups, I know that the teachers will have supported you all the way through this year and they will support you very well going forward in the run up to these assessments and over the course of the next few months. Um, give of your best, shine, and we wish you every success with those assessments. So um, if you are in those year groups, um, we're thinking of you and we're here, Team TH, with you. And we're starting to offer some additional sporting opportunities. Now your form tutor will have a list and go through those in your form time with you, but um, please make the most of that. It's wonderful that we've got this lovely weather now, um, which I think is set to last for at least a week and make the most of those sessions at lunchtime if you would like to. And I wanted to remind you all that although lockdown has started to ease, Infection control measures are still in place regarding COVID-19 and all pupils are required to wear face masks in classrooms and when indoors in communal areas. You can take them off when you're outside. You don't have to keep them on all day, um, but it is important that you, we keep that going. It is going to be reviewed on the 17th of May and I think they will probably take it, that recommendation away at that point. But for the time being, those masks need to be uh, worn. Social distancing and hand washing, still very important and sanitizing. We want to keep the school community as protected and as healthy as possible um, so that we can all stay on site and keep our education going this term. So enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the longer days, um, but please be vigilant and follow regulations that are still in place, um, particularly outside of school. So meetings of no more than six people. Um, we want to keep infection rates as low as we possibly can in this community. We've done really well so far this year and we want to stay on track so that we can return to normality as soon as we can. And there is every reason to look forward to the summer. The deck chairs are going to go out on the lawn again. 
You may have spotted we've got some new uh, table tennis tables installed on the playgrounds. Keen players, you can bring your own bats and balls. Um, and we have our school birthday coming up and that will be a half day um, for everybody. So that will be super. And those of you who are taking your assessments, there is a very long, hopefully hot summer ahead of you. Um, very well deserved. So the efforts that you put in now, you can relax and really chill out um, from sort of middle of June onwards. Now I have some notices. The first one is a sports notice. Congratulations to Erin Wells in Upper Four, Lexi Brown in Upper Four and Emily Parker in the Lower Six who recently represented Dorset at the English Schools Virtual Cross Country Championships. All had excellent performances with Erin coming 10th, Lexi 33rd and Emily 4th in the UK for their age groups. And their results contributed to the county competition with Dorset coming third in the junior girls and first in the senior girls competition. Can we give those girls a round of applause? Well done, fantastic. There is a reminder that there is a sports scholars talk on Tuesday the 27th, next Tuesday evening, 5.30 till 6.30 on Zoom. We have a guest speaker. She is Olympic javelin bronze medalist, Goldie Sayers. She's an inspirational and passionate communicator and she will share her insights into overcoming setbacks in her sporting career. All the Zoom details are on the Google Classroom and we look forward to seeing you there. So if you're a sports scholar, please make the most of that. Um, as I've said, the senior school lunchtime PE clubs have begun this week. There are different activities on offer in your year group bubbles. Um, and in order to take part, please ensure you bring trainers. You don't have to wear a PE kit, but you will need um, trainers and you'll need to remove jewelry before taking part. So they look forward to welcoming you there. And a reminder, that uh, students in upper three to lower five, you should not be staying in your classrooms at break time and lunch time if it's not raining. Look at that wonderful weather out there. You need to be out. You should be outside in your designated areas. And if you're in the woods or in the playground, can you please be aware that there are lessons taking place such as PE or lessons in room 20 to 24. So if it's your break time, doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's in break time um, over that lunchtime period, because as you know, our lessons are staggered. So could you just be aware of that? Right, as we start our summer term, busy, busy term ahead, we go over to Reverend Burke for our prayer. Are you there, Jonathan? I am indeed. Good to be back, new term, new opportunities, probably mixed feelings, trepidation, as well as excitement. So a prayer today that's been used by Christians for hundreds of years, a simple prayer, but hopefully a meaningful one. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. Amen. Amen. Have a brilliant week, everybody. Bye.